My name's Stephen Aston. I'm an infectious diseases clinician and researcher based here at the University of Liverpool and uh, over the road at the Royal Liverpool University Hospital. Um, in my day job, I'm using antibiotics every single day uh, to treat complex and simple infection problems. And uh, I guess I'm increasingly aware that perhaps what's once were years ago, relatively uh, simple infection problems to treat, we're in seeing the emergence of more and more antimicrobial resistance. That means that simple problems might be called more, more complex to treat, where, whereas once patients might have been able to have relatively simple, very easy to tolerate antibiotic regimens, we're having to move toward uh, more difficult, more complex, more difficult to tolerate regimens. And I'm often aware, often encountered, that actually that diagnosis of infection to know whether antibiotics are required or not is not always completely straightforward. Uh, there's often lots of uncertainty when a patient turns up at hospital, is sick or unwell. We want to make them better and if there's uncertainty about infection, we're often erring on the side of caution to treat that. So in my research, I'm thinking of ways how we can support clinicians in making those initial decisions about whether antibiotics are required. And we're looking to see whether we can use digital technologies to combine clinical, uh, microbiological and laboratory information to uh, develop clinical decision support systems uh, to guide clinicians in those initial judgments about whether antibiotics are required.